Hey, we can taxi with the, uh, the old door and... Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, it's good for photographs as well, because you... Yeah. You get massive... Uh, well, you're still yeah. on Charlie Echo. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, camera gone. Woo. Cable's running straight. So far. This is the highly complicated and technical fuel gauge. Basically, it's a float with a wire on top which comes up through through the filler cap and shows you how much fuel you've got. As you can see, it's too up the uh, radio climb. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> yeah. The Alps for landing on glaciers. They welded on these uh, these lugs here, from which bungee cords would go down to the tips of the skis to keep the tips up when they were landing because you don't want to dig your tips in, otherwise... I'll tell the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Also, because it was Switzerland, when they refurbished the cockpit, they uh, put in some instruments. Uh, the turning slip and the vertical speed indicator are written in German. So you have a Battle of Normandy veteran with instruments written in German. Would they fly solo or two up uh, with, in the war with this? Uh, there would have been an observer in the back. Although sometimes they were able to do it, just experienced guys could fly solo. Okay. So we're able to fly, navigate, do the map, call the artillery and all of everything at once. You can see a lot, can't you? Yeah, yeah, I can see very well, actually. So you can see the enemy tanks hiding in the trees and stuff. I suppose with the lower door open, your field of view is amazing. Yeah. I'm so used to flying low wings that I just don't appreciate this. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I also rarely fly this low, it's really nice. <laughs> yeah, it's nice when we're with the flat, because if the engine comes out, we've got loads of nice fields. Uh, you like a wee shot? I'll go on then. Uh, you place your feet on the pedals as well. Go for the Oscar Alfa Romeo Squawk 737. Okay. You can continue with Dundee and I want to do the 5. Okay. 736. Very light. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, adverse yawns, the ailerons, so the you have to kind of almost lead with rudder into the turn. Okay. And then you have to... Uh, yeah, I see that. Then you have to maintain a little bit of rudder as well. Where are we headed? Uh, towards that lake on the nose. Okay. And then to the right slightly. I suppose at this speed, any gust affects you more as well, right? It does, yeah. And the airspeed indicator is in, uh, miles per hour, so we're only doing about 75 knots. It's probably why the controls are quite spongy, right? Yeah. Where to next? Okay, we go uh, left and come to the... We're just past along the right-hand side of the water feature that's in this kind of middle distance. Here? Yeah. Hey, you feel like you're getting blown around a little bit, huh? Yeah, you do. And, uh, the thermals... Keep it puppy as well, don't they? Yeah. This engine likes to run at about 2,000 RPM then. Yeah. Okay. Have you seen that, uh, that body of water out at the 10 o'clock? Uh, plenty uh, of water at 10 o'clock. They're coming towards 9 o'clock now in the middle of this. Oh yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, that's Cameron Reservoir. That's the southern edge of Lucas Mat. Oh, I see. It's a, it's a good one to do. You can almost see the whites of the cow's eyes. <laughs> yeah, go to the thing where it's 600 feet. So where's things here from here? Uh, about the 10 o'clock. Okay. So it's just... Uh, if you can just head towards the end of the land, you can see where it comes to a point. Yeah. You just head towards there. Really nice aircraft to fly, actually. Yeah, I have to learn how to fly all over again. I 
I much prefer a stick to a yoke. Uh, just got a first mid. Right. Look at Jenna Golf, Charlie Golf, India Yankee. Golf, Charlie Golf, India Yankee, Lucas Red, our flash message. Golf, Charlie Golf, India Yankee is a perfect cut in by Kings of Europe from the west with about six miles to run. And of course, to get into Kings of Europe traffic. Golf, India Yankee, Roger, no known traffic at Kings of Thanks, uh, Golf Indian Yankee. We'll remain listening out with you and then go to Safety Con in about uh, three minutes' time. Golf Indian Yankee, Roger. 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 It's really difficult to see because it's a grass field amongst the wolves. Yeah, I was going to say, grass like... fields. Oh, hello. <laughs> What's that? That was a little dust from it right there. Huh? <laughs> The right wing just lifted spontaneously. There's a bit of fresh air there as well. Like that. Yeah, that's nice and cool, man. Almost there. In fact, I don't think I can see it. In fact, I can't see it. But it's really difficult. Okay. Uh, in the uh, 10, 12, 30, 1 o'clock middle distance, you've got some uh, polythene on a field. Oh, I can see oh it yes, I think I see it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I take over again? Right, you have control. I have control, thank you. Uh, the wind looks uh, pretty good, straight down the runway ish. Uh, it's a very wide now, out of it. Look down the left. You'll see this end, there's a. Uh, Oh yeah, 06 designator. Yeah, but there's a little hut which is a model aircraft, so we like to fly over and give them a chance to get their aircraft on the ground, but there's nobody there. Really pretty out here. It is. Yeah, you can see the <laughs> that was fun, it was a whole different thing having the door open and just taking your time low and slow. That was awesome.